So in this one, what I'm going to do is use the Archipack add-on to add some elements to our scene. The first thing you'll need to do is run Blender as an administrator, and that needs to be done just to render out these small thumbnails for each of the individual elements. It might take a couple of minutes, but just follow along with the instructions at the beginning. Okay, but otherwise, let's get started. So I'm just going to drag this back down here. And I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to come around in the 3D view. So if we come back over to the layer tab, and I'm just going to switch the visibility of this on and off. Okay, so this is going to be my front elevation. So if I press B, I'm going to box select all of this stuff here. And come over to layer 8, which is empty. I'm going to rename this to front elevation. Press enter. And I'm going to move the selected objects to this layer. And what I might do is just turn back on the ground floor plan for the moment. So earlier on, when we were setting up, we enabled an add-on called Archipack. So I'm going to come up here to File, User Preferences. And in the Add-ons tab, it is this one here. We actually enabled Archimesh also, and they're both very similar. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Archipack. So just make sure you enable the add-on there by checking this. And if I expand this, we can take a look in here. So I'm going to leave this stuff as it is. But for the material library, if I open up the browser here, we can take a look at this. So in the GitHub page, it gives you the information on setting up. There's also a default material library in the form of a blend file that you can download from this site. If you want your objects to be added with default cycles material, you can download that library. Save it to a location on your computer. I'm just going to minimize this in my case, I have it saved archipack underscore it's MATLAB. I'm just going to click in here and control C this location and I can just move this out of the way. I'm going to paste this in here. So control V, press enter. Okay, and that's more or less all I'm going to do with that. So I can minimize this archipack and click save user settings and I can X this down. Now, one thing you will have to do is run Blender as the administrator. Okay, so I'm just going to come up to tools to show you what you need to do. Actually, I'm going to come down to the create tab and come down here. So if I click this show window presets, you can see that we get a whole load of thumbnails. Now you need to render these basically first. And to do that, you need to run Blender as an administrator and then render out these images. It, it's quite simple. So I'm just going to escape. What you need to do is if you do a search in your search windows, or I'm sure it's similar for an Apple, if you type in Blender. So save your work in Blender, close it, type in Blender. So if I type in Blender and I right click, you get to run as administrator. That way, when you come up here to tools, you can render preset thumbs. And that way it will render the preset thumbnails for each of the architectural elements. Now this might take a couple of minutes depending on your computer, but I'd recommend doing it because you're going to have a preview of the different objects. And just before you do hit the render presets, make sure that you have it set to cycles. I found if it's not set to cycles, it didn't render. So that's one little thing I noticed. Otherwise it renders pretty much without incident. So when you have that done, you can come up here to create this archi pack. What I might do actually is so grab it and just drag it up and place it up here so we're not confused with the archi mesh. So I'm going to place the wall in here. So if I select this outline, I'm going to zoom in, tab into edit mode. I'm just going to select this face, shift S and cursor to select it. This is just a placement point for this first wall. It's going to come back to object mode. So this is not too important. We're really just looking for an insertion point on the same plane on the Z axis. So I'm going to come up to the archi pack add on and just hit wall. And that gives me a wall here currently with the size of two meters by 20 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is just come over to the properties shelf here and I'm going to increase the width to 30 centimeters. So 30 CM, press enter. And the good thing about this is if I press G X, I can snap to our outline. Okay, so I'm going to press G Y and just snap it up and begin that there. And the other cool feature about this so if I want to make this wall the length of our outline, I can just grab this arrow here and drag it. So left click, drag, I'm going to snap it to that length there. 
Okay, so it's kind of a fast way of adding walls. So I'm just going to click this up to two. And I'm going to do something similar. Just grab this, left click, drag it up and snap it to the end point up here. Okay, and then again, I can increase the number and just repeat the process. So then we can just put a check mark in close and it will close that for us. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And the wall is actually 2.7, which I think is what I wanted. But it's not too important. We can adjust any of these settings. Okay, I'm going to come back to layers and just switch on my front elevation. Okay, so I can press 1. And you can see from this view that we get our heights and we can make adjustments as we wish. Okay, but I think at the moment I might just leave it here. So hopefully you get your thumbnails rendered and you can check them if you come up then to create and just hit the show stairs presets so you're going to get just small thumbnails show you what kind of an element you're going to add okay so just try and get that done okay but otherwise that's going to do it for this one